Let's start off by defining a tax credit, and the very first thing we should do for most people to understand is make a distinction between a deduction and a tax credit. Deductions are going to be used to arrive at your taxable income. Tax credits are going to be used to reduce the amount of tax due after it's calculated based upon that taxable income. So what we'll think of as a tax credit is a reduction in the amount of tax after the calculation is performed. And very generally, there's two types of credits. There's refundable tax credits and there's non-refundable tax credits. Let's start off with the non-refundable tax credits. Non-refundable tax credits are distinct because though they can reduce your tax to zero, they cannot be used to provide a refund. In a very simple example, if a taxpayer owes $10,000 in tax and has a $15,000 non-refundable tax credit, they'll only get to take advantage of $10,000 of that credit, reducing their tax to zero. However, conversely, if that was a refundable tax credit of $15,000, that taxpayer would be in the circumstances to receive a $5,000 refund after the tax credit not only took care of the $10,000 in tax due, but also provided this additional amount. Now jumping back to non-refundable tax credits, let's give a couple of examples of some of the ones that you might encounter. One of the first ones is of course abduction expenses. Another major one for most people is child and dependent care expenses. Also, as many people are moving towards hybrid cars and alternative energy vehicles, alternative and hybrid vehicles and other types of opportunities exist there. And finally, on the same theme, we'll look at energy saving home improvements also as providing non-refundable tax credits. Finally, moving on to the to topic of education, we'll look at things like the American Opportunity Credit and the Lifetime Learning Credit, which will provide opportunities in certain circumstances for taxpayers to receive credits based upon those amounts they incurred paying for education. As we move on from there, some taxpayers who generate income overseas will pay taxes on that income overseas, and as such, will receive a foreign tax credit, a credit against their U.S. taxes for those taxes they had to pay to a foreign country. Finally, we'll look at the other side of this, which is, of course, those taxes, which are tax credits which are refundable. And these will be things like your earned income tax credit, or EITC, your first-time home buyer credit, certain things like health care coverage credits, and a few other types of refundable credits. Very generally, many of the credits you're going to encounter are going to be non-refundable tax credits. Of course, we could think of these as having slightly less value than those tax credits which are refundable, because the refundable tax credits can actually net you a refund after, even though you have not paid in any additional tax. So, recapping very quickly, we're gonna look at tax credits being those items which are gonna reduce the amount of tax due after the calculation is already performed. And we'll break these up into non-refundable credits, which again are not as advantageous, and refundable tax credits, which of course can both reduce your tax liability to zero and provide you a refund on top. If you have questions about these things or how these might apply to you, you could find answers on the IRS website or seek help from your tax accountant or professional advisor. Thank you.